Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on our marionette. Looks like this. Um, so you should have picked up a kit from the library and it's got a stick in it and some directions. Ooh, lots of stuff in here today. directions. So, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take those two pipe cleaners and just bend them in half. The one of these is going to be the arms and one of these is going to be the legs. So, we're going to take a piece of elastic cord and this is going to be the backbone and we don't need it to be super long. So, we are going to start by putting a bead on right to the center and then you'll have a bead on this one or a macaroni and then a bead and then a macaroni okay and then on the other side you will also have a, that bead in the middle and a macaroni and a bead and a macaroni now you will need, um, I believe you will need another bead for the hand and then you'll want to cut off some of this extra that's on the end like that and you'll fold your pipe cleaner around that white and stick it in to the macaroni. And you'll want to do the same thing on the other side, like that. My phone is ringing, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. And I am sure that I will call them back in a little bit. They'll leave a message. Okay, so these are our hands, just like that. So you'll need to do uh, pretty much the same thing on the other side. Macaroni, bead, macaroni. Oh, this side does not have a, a bead in the center. Macaroni. Just about dropped it. Okay, and then you'll want to cut off some of the extra and bend it around that bead that's at the end and stick it inside of the macaroni. So cut, bead, bend, macaroni. Now then, one, two, three. Oh, that's the other thing. This was not, I'm looking at my beads. This, the top ones did not call for the beads in the center. Just little round things. So it's going to look like that. Okay. So now, Actually, it looks like, here we go, so I'm going to take one of our stretchy strings and tie it to the center of the legs. Give it a nice square knot there. And then on this guy, we're just going to slide two macaronis down the center of his body. Like that. 
And then we're going to tie this onto the white bead that's in the center of the arms. Like that. And then I am going to go ahead and tie this so that it is all stuck together pretty good. And then we can go back. It will stay that way. And then we will attach the head on to the same piece. We can probably use the, you could just use another piece uh, because we've got plenty of pieces of this stretchy cord. Okay, I think this, this is good and tight. So now I've got the body done. Got little arms and little legs. I want to take this big piece here and I'm going to get a marker. You can draw any kind of face on here you want. I am just going to put a simple happy face. Like that. See, isn't he happy? Um, but you could make a scary face or pretty much anything you want. So that string that goes down the center of his body, I'm going to put right up through his head. And then at the top of his head, I'm going to put a bead. I'm going to wrap that around and put it right back down through his head. Because that bead that's on the top is going to help hold our head in place. Then, we're going to just tie this back onto that body piece. Let's see if I can... So I'm going to go back through the white bead that it connects the arms together. And you might have to tie this um, and give it a good... Um, square knot or you might have to tie it a couple of times because the stretchy string is stretchy and it is kind of slick. Try to get that head just as close to the body as we can. Okay, so I am actually going to tie that one more time just to see if I can't get it good and tight. All right. Okay, I'm hoping that's good. So just pull it real strong so it, it ties hard together. Okay, so now I've got my head attached. I'm gonna send this string back up through the head and through the white bead that's at the top. And then that I'm going to tie to my stick. Where, where is my stick, my stick? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? There's my stick. And that will give me the correct distance for the head part. And it will help me measure where I'm gonna put my strings for the arms. So we're going to get that tied on. If you have some hot, like a hot glue gun, you can use a hot glue gun to help these knots stay in place. Because of the type of string it is, they're really stretchy and sometimes the string will just come right apart even though you think you've tied a nice good knot. Turn this guy over so his face is facing up. And get my arms out. Okay, so take my first string and put it through. You should have a little loop at the end of your hand that is the loop of the pipe cleaner. Okay, so we're going to tie that on good. Who 
knew that you would have to learn to make knots like this? Okay, and then I'm going to kind of measure it against this uh, head piece. And I want it to kind of be really close to um, the length of, so that when I hold that stick up, they'll all be about the same length from the stick. Got that one. Let me double knot it so it stays where it needs to stay. Like that. Okay. I could probably have gotten that a little shorter. That's all right. It will work. I know it will. Okay, now for the other one. We're going to slide that into the hand hole and knot it. And you'll want to do that double knot again. And then you can just trim off the excess on these. It's not going to make any difference. Kind of measure how long, where you want. Cut off your extra and then tie this onto your stick. Make sure you double knot it so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you've got your guy that you can make him dance and do the boogie woogie. Look at him go. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time.